everybody. Welcome to tonight's yoga class. So tonight is, we're going to start down the ground. You need your mat, a blanket or padding if you want extra padding for your knees and yoga strap. Yoga strap's not needed for much of it. So if you don't have it, do not worry. We're still going to have a nice stretch in. So I want you to start by coming down onto your mat. And we'll lie with our back down and bring your knees into your chest. And then we'll drop the feet down the ground. With the knees bent, bring your arms up overhead into a diamond shape to start. Tune with your breath, so I don't want you to force it, and I don't want you to judge it. I just want you to be aware of it. Take a few breaths and just acknowledge where your inhales are and where your exhales are. And then we'll swoop our arms down. Down by our body, palms up, thumbs pointing upwards, and let's take each leg nice and long. Let's just take a moment or two here to do a little body spin. So starting at the top of your head, soften your forehead, soften your eyes. Soften your cheeks, soften your lips and the throat. Maybe take a nice big swallow here. And then let's check in so you can soften those shoulders. Maybe wiggle them into your mat like you're on a nice warm beach and you're wiggling in. Let the back of your arms relax to the ground. Let your forearms soften. In your wrists. Maybe open your fingers and then let them fall naturally, making a little curve back in towards your palms. Take a nice big inhale here. And an exhale. And now let's soften our chest. Really feel the connection of our back onto our mat. Your inhale, expand your ribs. And then soften and let them fall. Let your belly soften and fall. Acknowledge your, your glutes, your buttocks against the ground. Hips, floor, and acknowledge our legs. So, whether you want to start your leg, it doesn't matter. Get your leg nice and heavy, soften through your knee, all the way down your leg. To your ankles and your toes, maybe expand your toes and then soften them. A lot of times we grip, grip, grip with those toes, get them a little break. And then do the same on the opposite side. Now let's take a nice big inhale, fill up your lungs. And on your exhale, really let everything go. Do that two or three more times. Take a nice big inhale, fill up your lungs. And one more time. Inhale it all the way up. And let everything go. Let's bring our right knee into our chest and give it a hug. 
So hugging with intention, creating space in your belly, in your heart, in your lungs, bring that knee. Lift your upper body, so lift your chest and your shoulders and your head, bring your knees, your nose to your knee and your knee to your nose. Soften for your shoulders. And then bring everything down. Now I want you to make some nice big circles with your knees. So take it across your body and around, nice and slow. Earlier on, we were working those hips, so let's give them a nice little bit of a wild pack. So do two or three one direction, and then do two or three. Then we're going to meet back up, bring that knee into your chest, give it a hug. And then using your right hand, guide that knee over your body. Keep your left shoulder anchored. And then take your left arm long and take your gaze to look over your left fingertips. So a nice spinal twist for our back. Let everything soften. And on your next breath, we're going to roll back, and as we roll back, we're going to Bend the right leg and then cradle that right, the left ankle over top of the right foot. So you're making a figure four. Taking your left hand, let's just create a little bit of space, but be respectful. So I'm going to push on the inner thigh, create a little bit of space. And then I'm going to reach between and make the number four. So you can hug the knees in underneath your, underneath your legs. Or if you've got capacity, the, the arm length come down onto your shins to hug in. We want a nice glute stretch. Point the toes towards your knees. Let the shoulders soften. Get in a little bit more so you get a deeper stretch into that glute. Then I'm like, bring that right foot down to the ground, bring your arms out into a T, and we're going to rock side to side. So you're going to rock first over to the right, and see if you can bring your foot down towards the ground, and then bring it back up. Wrap the opposite way and bring that knee down or your thigh down towards the ground. So just a slow rock, side to side. Nice and gentle. We're gonna meet back up in the center. We're gonna take that left leg straight up into the air. Now, if you wanna grab your strap, you can put it across the bottom of your foot. Otherwise, you're going to walk your hands up your leg, and you're keeping a small bend into that leg, into that knee. Point your toes towards your forehead. Bring your leg closer, keeping your tailbone down. Bring your leg closer towards your forehead. Find a sweet spot for a nice stretch for your hamstring. Now put a bend in the knee. Drive the uh, heel back up towards the sky and then bring the leg a little forward. See if you created some space. Put a bend into your knee. Drive the heel up. Bring the toes closer towards the forehead. You're going to let go of that, keep your leg. And then you're going to press the heel towards your ceiling and continue to press the heel until you bring your legs all the way down the ground. Go super slow. 
want to get some length into that leg and into that hip. Nice let's bring it down to the ground. Ooh, I like can't find it. All right. Leaving that leg long, let's bring the right knee into our chest and give it a hug. So again, hugging with intention. Then lifting your upper body up, bring your nose to your knee, your knee to your nose. Soften through those shoulders. Shoulder world, we hold enough stress in our shoulders. Roll the upper body back down. And now let's make some circles with that knee. So get super slow. Connect to your hip flexors. Get the knee wide and in and across. Really give yourself a nice, kind massage here. And go the other way. We put our bodies through so much. It's nice to take it down a notch. Give it some love back. All right, on your next circle, bring that knee back into your chest. Give it a hug. Using your left hand, let's take that right knee across our body. Right arm comes along. If it feels good for your neck, take your gaze to look over your right fingertips. And then just soften and melt. I feel it maybe in your glute. Nice little spinal twist. One more breath. And as we roll onto our back, we're going to bend the left knee. Bring that right ankle on top of the left thigh. The knee and then using your right hand, create some space. Just push the knee away. Bring it in. But you're pushing it gently with love. Push it away. And then let's reach between and make that nice little glute stretch, figure four. Pointing the toes on the top of the leg towards your knees will give you a deeper glute stretch. Hug it in. Soft, your jaw soft, your face is soft, your eyes are soft. You're just relishing and savoring this moment. And then we'll drop that foot down to the ground. Bring your arms out into a T. And then we're going to find that little rock. So rock over to the left to bring your foot down. It may or may not reach the ground. And we'll bring it back up. We rock at the opposite side. Maybe it goes down, maybe it doesn't. There's no trophy. Rock side to side. And we'll meet back up in the center. We're going to take that leg straight up in the air. If you want to grab your strap, you want to keep your tailbone down, block your hands up. Your legs point your toes towards your forehead. If you're using a strap, you're going to keep the arms down towards the ground or walk your hands up your strap to leverage the knees up. So toes towards your forehead. Soften through that knee. Soften your shoulders. Then we'll put a bend in the knee. Drive that heel up towards the ceiling. And let's see if you can create a little bit of space. And the leg come a little closer. And then bend in the knee. Drive it back up. See if you can create more space. 
And one more bend. Drive the heel back up, toes towards your forehead. And then letting go of your leg, push the heel towards the ceiling, and then you're gonna continue to press the heel super, super, super slow. All the way down, nice and slow until it reaches the ground. Bring both knees into your chest and give yourself a hug. And then we're going to take the feet away from one another, keeping the knees bent over the feet down the ground so they're going to be nice and wider than your mat. And let's just take a few windshield wipers here. Over. Not side to side. One more. And then we're going to bring our knees back into our chest. Give yourself a hug. And you're going to rock forward and back. Massage your back. And you can either rock all the way up and then back down onto your knees and come into tabletop position. So this is where you might want to bring your um, D &D blanket or knee pad. Entirely up to you. Um, Always nice, we have them, why not lose them? So stack your knees under top of your hips and your hands are going to be underneath your shoulders. Now press into the mat so that you create space in your shoulders and you're not collapsing down. Let's take the left leg back, toes to the ground. And bring that in. And then we're going to take the same leg, push it back again. Create some space. I'm going to bring it back down. One more time. Reach it out. Now, keeping that in balance, take your opposite arm up and reach. So, a nice spinal balance, little bird dog here. And now, round your elbow to your knee and your knee to your elbow. And take it up long. And bring your hands down. Uh, so bring your, bring your knees down and your hands down. So we're going to go into a little um, little stretch here. So kicking your right left knee into your chest. See if you can take behind you, reach your foot, top of your foot, and then push the push the foot away as you twist. So you're opening your chest and you're kicking your foot up into the sky. And you're breathing. And come on out of that. Shake your hips side to side. And now let's take the opposite leg, right back out. Heels down, toes down, sorry. And bring the knee back to the ground, kisses the ground. And we throw it back up. Did I say throw? We're lifted. Bring it back down. Lift it back up. And if it feels right for you, take your opposite hand. That somber spinal balance. Reach for the fingers. Reach through the heel. Everything nice and strong. And then elbow to the knee. Knee to the elbow. Take it back out, hold it. Bring the hand, bring the knee down to the ground. And kicking your right heel into lifting it up and then kicking it into your glute, taking your left hand behind to grab. Open your chest, so do a little twist and then kick into your foot, into your hand. Create lots of space there. And breathe for three, two, and one. Lovely. Bring that back down. Press yourself back into the child's pose. So sink your knees down into your glutes. Walk your hands forward. And breathe. And 
And then we're going to come back up into table. This time, if you have your, your handy dandy blanket, you are going to move it out of the way. Back in your knees under top of your hips. Roll those shoulders. So roll the shoulders, bring your elbow points to the front of your mat. Spread your fingers wide, wide, wide. Curl your toes, concentrate on your tailbone, and take yourself up into a downward facing dog. So in down dog, your fingers are spread wide, wide, wide like starfish. Chest is pressing towards your thighs. Heels may or may not get down to the ground. It does not matter. We want to make ourselves a nice inverted V. And breathe. And let's go for a little walk. So put a big bend into your right knee. Press your chest towards your thumbs. And the other side. Continuing to take the tailbone up towards the sky. Walk your dog side to side. And then drop your heels down towards the ground. And you're going to tippy toe your feet up towards your hands. Keep your head down, keep your tailbone long. Into that, and then hang out into a forward fold. You can bring your hands behind your legs and interlace, grab the, <laughs> grab your elbows, nose towards the feet, tailbone towards the sky. Stack your ankles, stack your hips, stack your knees, shake your head no. Drop those arms, get them really long like your burger lock. And then slowly drag your hands up your legs. So, 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 stack your hips, stack one vertebrae, top of each other, and then roll your shoulders. I know you're saying, Linda, we were going to dance with our yoga. We're working there, we're working towards dancer pose. So we're gonna start with driving all your energy down your right foot. All right, move into tree. So tree can be down onto the toes, up by the shins, or straight up to that inner thigh. And if it's up to the inner thigh, to push your thigh and your foot into each other so they're nice and strong. Roll the shoulders back and down. Lift those toes up. Are they holding your world? They're not. So we're a beautiful tree here. I'm going to turn my tree sideways so I can show you where we're going. All right, so you can stay exactly where you want to tree, or you can move your arms up towards the sky. And then we're going to take the foot off our thigh, bring it back, and grab with our hand. So it's a standing quad stretch, so knee to knee, thigh to thigh. Lift up through your ribs, through your belly, and then you're going to, hopefully you're not watching, if you learn we're shaking and rattling, rolling, you're going to fall. You're going to hinge forward, and as you hinge forward, you're going to press into your foot, into your hand, and come into a lovely, soft dancer's pose. Soft through your breath. The higher up you can go. I don't want to dance tonight. I want to dance. You fall out of it like I do, just keep getting back into it. Create some space into your chest, into your hips, and then let's come out. I can shake, rattle them a little roll, and we'll take that up to the other side. So find some ground into your opposite side. It's a small bend in that standing knee. Roll the shoulders back and down, let them soften. So you're going to start to climb your tree up and depending on how slippery your workout clothes are, sometimes makes a difference into that tree. But you want your hips forward, your chest forward, and your thighs forward. And you're bring your arms up, soften through in your beautiful standing tree. A couple of breaths here. 
we're going to start to scoop the one hand back as we grab the quad, thigh to thigh, knee to knee. Let's find that small bend and then start to hinge. And as you hinge, you're going to press your foot into your hand, lift and expand. So your chest is opening, your shoulders are opening, your hip is opening. You're breathing. It's a nice, graceful pose to play with it, you know, your own pace at home. Out into the woods, on a mountain. Come on, I know that figure that was All right, take a nice big inhale all the way up. Exhale, swan dive down to the ground. Inhale to a half lift or a flat back. Exhale and drop. Step your left foot back. Step your right foot back into a downward facing dog. Go for a little walk. Down onto your knees. Uncurl your toes. Take your glutes down, press your heel, press your glutes towards your heels. Come into a child's pose. Walk your hands forward. Drop your forehead to the ground. Take a nice big inhale. And an exhale. And then let's bend our bend of the elbows, bring the hands behind the head. Fingers touched, palms touched, palms touched. Let it be soft. Take a minute to acknowledge your practice. Acknowledge the love you gave to yourself, to your body, to your soul, to your breath. Take a moment to be grateful, express some gratitude for everything you have in life. And then drop the hands down the ground and lift yourselves up. Let's bring our thumbs to our third eye, the center of our forehead, for kind thoughts. Let's bring our thumbs to our mouth for kind words. And let's bring our thumbs to our heart for total kindness. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for letting me in your home tonight. Hope you enjoyed tonight's little practice. Namaste. Thank you, Linda.